Okay, well, today is Wednesday, the 28th of April, 2021. Um, and I just thought I'd like to bring you up to date where we are as regards the progress of the Bantam. So a couple of things have happened since I've last put any of the YouTubes on. Um, first of all, I've, I've managed to get an age-related number plate um, from Swansea and got went through all the process with the uh, Bantam Owners Club to get the uh, registration, uh, sorry, the frame number and the engine number um, properly recorded down in Swansea and I've now got a V5, a registration document uh, for my bike. Um, I've had a number plate made to give me the idea of the dimensions to go on the back of that one but unfortunately, um, modern day number plates, as you can see, are slightly bigger than um, the old number plate. Uh, so I'm going to um, see about getting uh, an old fashioned one made instead of the modern yellow and uh, uh, black and yellow. As regards the number plate, while I'm still talking, um, you can see that at the front there should be a raised number plate here, um, a curved one. I've got it, but I made a decision not to put it on. And the reason being is, I know my Bantam doesn't go very fast. Um, and, I, you know, the likelihood is I'll just be pottering along. But something could happen and I could end up coming over the top whoosh, and falling onto the number plate. So why tempt fate really? Um, so I'm not going to do it and uh, I'll leave it at that. The, everything is where it is. Be See the clutch is working okay. You can see that. Um, all the, everything, the electronic ignition kill switch is there. The dip switch is there, the twist grip works, everything is as it should be. And I got to the stage whereby I need to start, actually start the engine and do some work on the carb. Um, so rather than put a load of petrol into the tank and use the mix and do all that and then run it down into the carburetor, what I thought I would do is by myself um, a clip-on fuel tank Ooh. like this which is what I got one of them um, and uh, my intention was was to hang it from the ladders up there bring it down and run some plastic pipe from there down onto the carburetor and then if I had to do anything, um, I wouldn't be um, emptying the, um, the tank all the time. Uh, and then what happened really was, um, it got really, really cold because this is just a single garage in, in um, oh, there's my dad's sign, look, I'll give you a view of that. Yeah, my dad used to teach uh, survival. Paley Bridge. Uh, so what happened was is that it got really cold in here and uh, it's only a single story garage um, attached to the house and um, it, it got too cold to come in and work on the Bantam for a while um, so uh, I just paused everything. And then, then the next thing is that happened is uh, unfortunately um, I got quite poorly and necessitated having to go into hospital to have an operation. Um, and then um, that took a, a, a week or two. And then I had to do some recoup stuff and because of my operation I couldn't lift anything or um, have any issues where it put any strain on my stomach or anything so I couldn't come into the garage whilst I was on recoup. 
and um, work on my bike. So um, the next thing that happened was um, I have to have some follow-up treatment which unfortunately is going to knock me out for a while um, and that was due to start this Friday all being well. Um, it's quite a serious treatment that I'm having um, and um, I've already been told to expect uh, to be not feeling very well for a while while I do my bike. So, uh, sorry, while well, I have my treatment. So I just thought I'd bring you up to date where we are with the bike. I haven't forgotten about posting anything. Um, it's just that I'll be back on it as soon as uh, my, I feel a bit better from having my treatment. Um, and then uh, we'll just see how we go. But as you can see, it's almost ready. Um, like I say, the two things are one, using that little petrol tank to get the petrol and get it going and the other one is to get a, uh, a black and white number plate for the back so thank you for bearing with me and normal service I hope will be resumed as soon as possible but she's there and she, she's looking quite cool really thanks a lot, bye now